Hello, seniors. How's it going out there? Um, what I've been doing as I've been um, going through your senior project, written components, is noticing a lot of people are having difficulty with the word cited page. So I want to create this little video um, that gives you guys an idea of what I'm looking for, what I expect out of a work cited page from you guys. Um, I'm going to attach this to the um, Canvas page. You all have access to this um, document as well as this video. So it should help you um, get those work cited pages perfect as they need to be um, before submission, uh, final submission this Friday. So let's take a look um, and uh, you'll notice at the top I, this is kind of just a, an idea of what the format should look like. So in other words, uh, you know, a, a typical citation of an online source looks like this. And uh, you start with author's last name or first name, author's last name, then first name. Um, if you don't have an author's name at all, you just leave that blank. You don't put administration or uh, no name or anything like that. Just leave it completely blank and start with the article title. Uh, notice the punctuation here. There's a period after the author's uh, name. Uh, the article title is in um, all quotations. Capitalize each word of the title, even if it's not capitalized on the actual article. Make sure you capitalize the first word, letter of each word. Again, a period, um, and then we go into the web page name. Make sure that's in all italics. That would be something like the New York Times, the Washington Post, Encyclopedia Britannica, um, any, any CNN, any publication um, goes in italics, capitalized right there. Then we do a comma followed by the date published. Um, that's in that European style. If you remember that, that's with the date first. Then an abbreviated version of the month followed by the year written out. Then you have a web address. Oops, missing a, missing a comma on this one. What's going on? All right. So then we have uh, the web address. Um, and down below, you'll see here, that's just kind of written out like that. No italics, anything like that. Um, and followed by a period. And then the access date at the end. Same European style, um, date first, abbreviated month, and then the year written out. Um, so let me go down to some examples here, and this is something a lot of people have issues with. So let's um, make sure you go over this um, before you submit to our works cited page. Um, you'll notice that I have a, a list of sources here, all cited correctly. Um, yeah, they're all cited right. However, um, they're not indented properly, so we need to talk about that. Um, you will notice they're in alphabetical order, so this available funding article was listed first. There's no author. Um, the name of the article first. The next citation is graduation requirements. Another article. No author here. The next one down is this um, the ignorant American voter. Hmm. I could have written that this week. Eh, never mind. Um, so we have an author there. Last name, comma, first name, then period, then the title of the article. So a little bit different when you actually do have the author's name. And then again an article that doesn't have an author listed. So it goes right to the title. So the only problem now is the indenting. You'll notice it's all double spaced. There's no extra skip lines in between the citations. That's important. Make sure it's double spaced cleanly all throughout. Now the next little trick is getting uh, the indenting, indentation properly um, uh, aligned. So we'll notice for a, a citation, we always want that opening line. That's where available funding journey. I want that clean against my left margin. And that's marked by that arrow and box on the left. So that's a one inch margin. It's sitting right there cleanly against it. But I need the lower part to be indented. I don't want the upper part indented like a paragraph. I just want this lower part indented. So the trick for that is you've got to go up to this arrow and box. The lower arrow says left indent. That upper box just right above it says first line indent. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our cursor on the lower arrow where it says left indent. I'm going to bring it out to where it says 0.50. So what that represents is half inch towards this one inch here. So that's exactly what I want the indention to be. 
but I need to bring this opening line back. So what I do is go back to my box here and it says first line indent. I'm going to bring it all the way back. And as you can see, that makes the opening line flush against the margin and the next line indented. I'm going to go ahead and do that with my next citation. I'm doing them one at a time here. And then I'm going to bring it back. Now, sometimes if we format it correctly, I can actually do a few at a time. So for these next two, I'm going to go ahead and highlight both entire citations and let's see if it'll work. I'm going to bring my arrow across. And it worked. And then I'm going to bring the box across. Okay. Now, it doesn't always work when you do multiple citations at the same time, but it's a great technique um, for making your works cited pages look all clean. Now, here I am all set. All my citations are double spaced. They're indented properly. They're in alphabetical order. And then I can go through and double check all my work. Is the title of the article in quotes capitalized? Yes. Is that period in the right place? Yes. Did I properly put the title of the website in italics? I did. Did I put the date of the article next? Yes. Notice the punctuation looks good. Commas, commas. Go back, uh, the web address, is it all written out there? It's all right there. That means I could just copy and paste it and go right to that website. Date access, it's all there. That one's all set. And I'll do that for each one. Make sure you guys do this. Double check your punctuation points. Make sure the period's in the right place, the comma's in the right place. You've written your dates in that European style, kind of the date first, followed by the month and year. And everything looks good. This is a works cited page ready to be submitted. Hey, sounds good. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Thanks so much, guys.